Well, Mayor Walt Maddox says the city doesn't have the legal authority to limit alcohol sales in the area, which is what some people believe should have happened. The mayor is also calling on people not to demonize college students because he says they were just having a good time. But it comes at a time when COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations are at record highs. A sea of college students filled the Tuscaloosa Strip just before midnight Monday night to celebrate the Crimson Tide's national championship victory. We are disappointed in seeing the large number of people flood in to the Strip area itself. Um, we do not have a, an exact estimate, but we do believe it's larger than any celebration that we've seen in recent memory. The mayor calls it thousands upon thousands of people. The police chief says officers initially allowed students to celebrate peacefully, but says the crowd quickly got out of hand. People started climbing the trees. People started hanging off light poles. Uh, people started getting on top of the CVS uh, awning. The chief says officers had to spray pepper spray toward the ground to break up the crowd. When all was said and done, police arrested 14 people on a number of charges, but not all UA students were anxious to join the celebration. I probably came like right as it was peaking, but I still stayed away from it because I didn't, you know, I'm not trying to get COVID. Any, I don't want it. I'd rather stay healthy. Mayor Maddox has now left fielding a number of questions about what could have been done to prevent this sort of gathering in the middle of a raging pandemic. It would have required probably upwards of 500 police officers or law enforcement personnel in riot gear to prevent something like that. Um, to give you some sense of how many people that would be, we have a total of 289 people in the Tuscaloosa Police Department. Of course, there are now concerns about the local health care system, DCH Health System, treating 175 COVID patients as of this afternoon. Maddox says the hospital is still able to treat emergency and non-emergency patients. Live in Tuscaloosa, along the strip, Chip Scarborough, WBTM 13.